Hey everybody, what up? The hypocrisy of some of these large tech companies is just absolutely astounding that we allow it to happen. Uh, there's a lot of issues that are going on with you know, this day and age with these powerful tech companies like Google and Amazon and Meta. And this video is about basically exposing, you know, things that they've done to try to prevent people to do the, from doing the same things that they've done. See, the name of the game for really, I think, long term development these days, if you're going to do anything with machine learning and artificial intelligence, is you need good data. And that's probably one of the biggest problems with trying to train a model. Um, so even if you're micro focused on training, you know, a resume parser or like something to just to do with video games or 3D architecture, whatever it might be, you need good data in order to train these models. And you, the tools that we look at right now, like uh, you know, ChatGPT. I mean, it's this unsupervised learning where it's like this broad spectrum that they're trying to learn, basically be an expert in. And all kinds of different things, right? So, the challenges that companies face, though, is that they need to m fine tune that training uh, to a specific data set that makes sense for their business. And that's what all these tools are doing. So, they're using like ChatGPT or whatever to try to decipher, um, you know, what does this mean? They decipher what that means. They call it against another training model that's like, you know, so it, it could be multiple steps here. But the bottom line, is you need good data and you need to have it labeled properly so you can train your your models to um, to run on that data. So how do you get good data these days? And and that is the problem because pretty much every website out there has a robots.txt file and that tells you whether or not you can scrape a website or not. Even this website I have pulled up here that I've never been to before, AndroidHeadlines.com, has a robots.txt. You can see them all at the root of this uh, the website. So basically, whatever the website is, forward slash robots.txt, you'll find it. Uh, pretty much every website has it. So you can see that it's actually disallowing uh, all these different bots. So this says user agent all, and this is saying disallow. So they don't want those scrapers using their website. See, and not only are they saying disallow, they're actually saying disallow specifically to these user agents. And these user agents are obviously big companies that are scraping the entire web. They're trying to gather every bit of data they can find. And they're paying hundreds of millions of dollars with investor funds and now revenue to pay people to scrape the entire website, uh, the whole world, World Wide Web classify that data and train their models to be even better. They're obviously not adhering to the robots TXT. So a longer story with the robots TXT is it was actually started around the days that Google was a startup at Stanford. Google was actually scraping all types of websites back in the day, even against uh, permission. So they would get all kinds of nasty letters from companies like stop scraping our website. Eventually Google came up with a standard of the robots TXT. So every company started using it, but then nobody abided by it. Now, there are legal implications if you don't abide by it, but when you have a large company like Anthropic or OpenAI or Google or Meta or any of those companies, it's just a normal cost of doing business to simply violate you know, copyright and terms of service and all that. And that's just, again, normal cost of business. It's something that an individual developer, indie startups, smaller scale startups don't have the luxury of doing because they could be sued out of business. But, uh, you know, a company that has a you know deep pockets, they don't have to worry about that sort of thing. So that's where it's maddening. They're creating rules that they themselves violated. So basically, it's like they get up to another level with a ladder and then they pull the ladder up and say, you can't get up here anymore. We've already done it. And now it's against the rules. You know, screw all that, dude. That's just that is ridiculous here. So this article is like what Meta was scraping user data for years while publicly condemning it. They even paid the same, uh, you know, at the same time, they actually paid Bright Data to scrape e-commerce sites and other platforms. And they're sitting here trying to um, act like they're, they're high and mighty and that they can't do that. So we're seeing more and more that these larger companies like the New York Times, and this is uh, BBC, is threatening to sue Perplexity AI, AI over unauthorized use to its content. So clearly Perplexity AI is like, we're not going to abide by your terms of service and your robots txt we're going to steal all of your data 
and we're going to train our models and then eventually just have our models get give out all the data that we stole from you basically and that's how this game works so there's many many examples of this um, but perplexity itself has been accused of ignoring robots obviously and scraping content from Wired, Forbes, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, and others. Here's an example of the New York Times Canadian news outlet. Um, they sued OpenAI over scraping their website. There's an ongoing lawsuit uh, with this, but the hypocrisy here is that OpenAI actually criticized DeepSeek earlier this year. They, yeah, they, they accused DeepSeek of actually building its GPT on massive scraped data sets from OpenAI when they scrape the entire web again uh, against people's terms of service. So here's an example of Elon Musk's uh, ex company, formerly known as Twitter. They sued Bright Data, which is the same company that Meta was paying to scrape e-commerce websites and then trying to act like they didn't. They were tr trying to say that Bright Data was overburdening Twitter servers. Just And they're actually scraping tweets, man. Can you imagine? So like tweets are so worthless and, and they're scraping that. Um, but clearly there's value in all this data and companies are just trying to hog it all up and they don't care how they get it or where they get it or whether it's legal or not. But the hypocrisy here is that, you know, evidence suggests that X also use bright data. They use the same scraping uh, infrastructure. Here's an example of Craigslist suing the startup Three Taps Incorporated for scraping their website. But the hypocrisy here is that Craigslist itself operated a massive banner scraping system which populated its own sister sites. That all said, you know, it's actually much more difficult and there's much more legal gray area when it comes to scraping websites than it used to be when I even started because I used to do quite a bit of scraping when I was first getting started programming. And it seems like there's so many different lawsuits and uh, legal gray areas now that didn't exist before and it's all just companies acting just shitty um, so the bottom line meta paid others to collect data while suing third-party scrapers perplexity scraped major publishers yet threatened legal action against the bbc open ai sues scrapers even as it depends on its own scrape data sets and also accuses deep seek from scraping their stuff X Corporation pursued lawsuits over scraping and loss and used scraping operations internally. Craigslist monetizes scraped content but stops competitors from doing the same. And this list goes on and on and on. And this has nothing, like, and it gets worse too, right, with Meta scraping 3 million copyrighted books and things like that. Uh, so that's where we are these days. If you want to get ahead, there is all kinds of legal gray area to get the proper data that you need to train something. But all the biggest companies are able to do it just as a cost of doing business. All right, everybody, check out my video game. I am releasing it towards the end of this year. It's pretty much done. Uh, just a few little things here and there, and I'm just making improvements and such. But I like it. It's fun. Check it out.